break my glasses. Hey, Miss Scott. Hey, Stacy. Mm. I'm trying to fix this telephone, y'all. I may be crooked. Hey, Michelle. Hey, Miss Marie. Hey, Michelle King. Yes, TGIF. What you guys got planned? What's up, Miss Bird? Hey, everybody. Hey, Carolyn. Happy Friday. What are you guys up to? Oh, you just got your flower today? Oh, uh, okay. It went out yesterday. Yes, thank you, Stacy. How you guys doing on this Friday? I knew I was coming live today. I just couldn't come live this morning. Hey, Cece. We got 33 people, nine thumbs up. Hey, Brittany. Hey, Bernice. Happy Friday, Chet. Cooking cheddar broths and beans. Mm. Yeah, and um, she doing okay. Um, you know, lost someone in the family. So, yeah, unexpected death. So, you know, when stuff is unexpected, it hits you hard. So, my prayers, you know, and my condolences from the Soul Squad members go out to Juliet and her family. But, yeah, she she's going through some stuff right now. So thanks for all the prayers. But she's strong and she know God got her. It's that it just hit hard when it's unexpected. Yeah, but um, so I knew I was coming on the day. I was like, I was just so busy this morning. I was like, okay, I know I'm going on a day. So I'm, I'm going on later on, you know, this evening. It's TGIF. So, guys, you know what we want to do before we do anything? Anywhere else we got to say, I'd like to thank God for waking us, us up. For spending another day with our family and friends. Was that long walk didn't wake you up? He did. Can I get an amen? Amen. Because y'all tomorrow is not promised. Ooh, as soon as we get with it, get, 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 get straight with God, man, it is not promised, y'all. It is not promised. Life come and go so quick, unexpectedly, and everything. So yeah, get 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 yourself right with God, cause He's already right with you. All right. With that being said, how you guys doing? What's up, Kay Alexander? Hi, baby. How you guys doing? Hey, Miss Queen B. So I said, oh, let me get a hit. Can y'all hear that music? Do y'all hear that music? Hey, COVID-11. I always say that. I, I got a bad feeling I'm saying that wrong. But you don't never say that. A little bit, okay. Because that's coming from my son. You know, his, his Friday. It's his day all. It was good. My, that's important to my children because I didn't. Y'all, <laughs> I know y'all believe me. Just like with the Big Mac, I ain't eat that sandwich either. I ain't get I, I that one. I didn't get the taste. I ain't taste nothing but the sauce. I didn't get. The <laughs> yeah, Angela. Um, I ain't get none of that sandwich either. But I ain't getting none of that sandwich on purpose because of the steak and stuff. I mean, me, me, I can't do steak too good, so I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't really mess around with steak too much unless I'm going to a restaurant. 
um because i ain't got the chops for steak but like if i go to a restaurant and get like a, a ribeye or a porterhouse or a, a, a filet mignon them joints be um no i ain't made no homemade soup this year them joints be tender so they melt just like that i haven't made no homemade soups this year i made one Oh, yeah, my kids love it. The only thing I would say, even though that I'm telling y'all, I am so tired of these grocery delivery. I already told my children, I said, on Monday, I said, we going, I said, when well, my son, my son, I wait till Monday, my son, day off for work. I said, we go to the grocery store on Monday morning. I want to go. I said, I am fed up with these Walmart deliveries. I said, sometimes I feel like. The food is cost a little bit more online than it is in the store. I'm okay with the fees because I pay a monthly uh, grocery fee. So that's the fees. My zero delivery is, is, I'm okay with the delivery fees. That's good for me because it'd be zero because I pay $14 a month for, for, for them. But um, it's the substitutes I can't get with. I ask for a limit. You bring me a line. A limit line is two different things. You know I want to do two different, I'm expecting two different flavors. But I use the line. Some items do cost more. Yes, and Walmart has gone up, y'all. I'm sorry. I know Walmart used to be that store. She used to be that girl, okay? But she is not that girl. She that bitch. She, 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 that's who she is now. She make you don't even want to go in her no more. You know what I'm saying? If they used to have a relationship with her, she don't want you in anymore. I, I'm, I'm about to break up with Walmart. Cause, so I told my son on Monday, y'all day off, everybody be home. I said, I want to go to the store. I said, because I got to see. I said, I got to see. But I said, because I, I just got to see the difference. And then they don't be substituting right. So when I made that McDonald's sauce, I didn't have no deal because they, they claimed they ain't had no deal. And I was like, if I order deal in um, Walmart brand and Walmart brand don't have it, you got McCormick, you got um, Goya's. I mean, you got so many other brands of deal. I don't think they be looking. They just say unavailable. And yes, it's an, an Instacart charge. I, girl, I ain't done Instacart about a year. I haven't I haven't done Instacart in about a year because I got tired of they holding fees. And I I and and I really ain't recognize whether now I'm getting my money back. So I got tired of they holding fees. But I haven't done um Instacart in about a year. So with that recipe, make sure you get you some dry deal. You don't have to use fresh deal. You can use fresh deal if you want, but um um, it just use, use dry deal. Get you some deal and get the lemon. Even though the lime was good, the lime did gave it gave it my own sauce, made it my own flavor, and it really tasted good. Uh, do you do you think they talk while they shopping? I don't know if they talk while they shop. That's why I'm going at Monday. I'm going back to all these. I completely stopped going to all these. I told my son and husband that we need to go back to beans and rice and cornbread. <laughs> Yes, Kern, they just pick up anything. But then my cousin, she used to do Walmart. She said it's an algorithm. She said it's not them. She said, so when y'all be complaining, because you know, I, I know somebody who um do the delivery. So she told me, she said, when y'all be complaining, it's not us. She said, the algorithm, when something is unavailable out, she said, the algorithm picks the next best thing. And that's what the shop, and they teach the shoppers to go by whatever the algorithm come up with. Audi has opened up 300 more stores, Miss Young. I know that's right. So I was like, but even if the algorithm pick it up, as a person who know how to shop, and I'm saying I want lemon, then I should give me either a lemon juice or something. You know, something that substitutes to really make lemon, not lime. But I worked with it. It worked with the recipe, and it turned out good. It, all the boys ate it. I and what I end up because I've been eating all y'all don't laugh. I've been eating off a can of um spam for a whole week. I've been eating off a can of spam. So anytime I made something that I didn't eat, I just cut a piece of spam, piece of egg, and that was my breakfast or whatever I wanted to be. So I've been living off spam like for a week when I was making these recipes. 
That's me too, Angela. I only go for certain things. Like I was telling my sons, when I go to all these, I only go for certain things because all these don't have everything I like. I'm into budget shopping, but I'm really not into a lot of generic type foods. Like all these, like they may have corned beef hash. I like Libby's corned beef hash. I'm sorry. I grew up on Libby's corned beef hash. So I did Libby's or I get that um, kitchen um, it's called Kitchen Something. Or I guess fam is good. <laughs> and I get that Kitchen Something or either um, Libby's. And then it's like um, they meats. You know, I like getting my meats from um, another store. And then they all, they all these don't serve like turkey wings. You know, they don't have turkey wings. Um, they got ribs now. They have even have lamb chops. It is certain things of all these that I don't get all of it. When my mom was alive and we used to go grocery shopping way back in the day, we used to go to two stores. We used to go early in the morning, go to the store and go to two store. Chilling, I'm losing weight with these grocery stores. <laughs> I know that's right. So, um, so yeah, so I'm going back to the grocery store. So y'all gonna most definitely get a grocery haul video next week. Cause I'm taking my buck into the grocery store. Because she said, Lord, spam. Oh, don't knock it, Teresa. <laughs> you know, the wine people love it. You know, spam got people through the depression. It wasn't called spam back then, but you remember back, I think I I wanna say, I don't think I think it was like the 1800s, like 1830 something. Or somebody could look it up. Uh, when spam came about, when it was is it World War One or World War Two, when um and there was a food shortage and all that stuff. That's how spam came about from the war. Um, uh, well, yeah, that's how. The, look up the look up the invention of the um uh, of, of spam and um it it be crazy the looks. But but you know what? It, yeah, they got turkey spam. I don't, I don't eat pork. Oh, she said, girl, I grew up on Pam. Okay, you don't eat pork no more. Yeah. But they got turkey spam now. They got, um, they got all types of stuff now with spam and everything. But yes, you know, that's the spam saved a lot of lives. Yes, they love it in Hawaii. They even sell it in their 7-Elevens wrapped up with, um, with sticky rice, spam, it's with sticky rice, spam, and eggs, and it's wrapped up in a um, it's wrapped up in a uh, a green leaf thing. During the depression, yes, that's when spam came out during the depression. But they made us depressed thinking about eating. <laughs> Jamie says spam came out during the depression, but they made us depressed by eating. <laughs> I know that's right, but yeah. <laughs> yeah, they sell it all kinds. So yeah, they do, Miss Bird. Yeah, so what you guys doing? I ain't doing nothing. I'm in the house. I'm chilling. Um, I had a long night. Oh, y'all. I know this is old, but it kept me up for a couple of hours. And I looked at all 10 years. So y'all got to look at Night Agent. Night Agent. Y'all got to look at Night Agent on um on netflix night agent it is so good i the way it ended so i don't know if they're gonna get a second one i ain't cooking nothing tonight the night friday i'm not cooking nothing i don't plan on cooking until sunday Yes, I did, but we talking about Love the Blind on y'all. And y'all y'all gotta get ready because Love is Blind and The Walking Dead, the ones who the one the ones who live, that's our conversation tomorrow. Hey Jan, that's our conversation tomorrow. Oh, you got your flower? Okay, okay. Y'all I'ma tell you. Put a little bit of mustard and hot sauce on your chicken. Or on your pork chops, put a little bit of mustard and hot sauce on your chicken, on your pork chops, whatever you're cooking, or on your fish, whatever you're cooking that flour in, and then shake it up in that flour. I made some bomb fried chicken the other day for the family. When did I make this fried chicken? Was it, um, did I make it? I made family chicken on Sunday. I made some bomb fried chicken on Sunday. That chicken came out so pretty golden brown. 
It was so good. Hey, Blackstone. I'm fine. Thanks for asking. How are you? It was so good. But um, Jackson wants spare ribs. So that's I might end up ordering that. Then I know I'm going to go to on Monday, but I might just I might order my Sunday dinner though. They're gonna be the I think they're gonna be the last time because I gotta I'm gonna order my Sunday dinner. Uh, I hope they got these baby back ribs. My baby my baby wants some baby back ribs. I want my baby back baby back baby chili baby back ribs. Yeah, so um that's what my baby want on Sunday. So he he, he said he ain't had ribs since Thanksgiving. No, I haven't made baby back ribs since Thanksgiving. This is March. So he been about four months. To add some flour to your salmon croquette, yes, yes you can. Well, if you add regular flour, you just using this because it's seasoned. So whatever you used to do with your regular flour, because you, you know people use um pit flour and they salmon croquette if they don't want to use an egg to bind it. So yes, you can. And don't and don't season that salmon if you season that salmon croquette. Don't over season it because um, that flour got seasoned in it and you don't want to over season it. I'm cooking cabbage and olive oil, sweet, uh, sweet peppers, onions, and baby carrots. Toss some beef sauces into it and cornbread. Oh, that's what you cooking right now? Thank you, Valerie. Happy Friday, girl. Happy Friday. Happy Friday. I had to come in because I didn't do my morning check in. And I told y'all, I'm going to go live yesterday. I didn't come live. I'm going to go live every day, Mondays through Saturdays. Monday through Saturdays. No live on Sundays. Mondays through Saturdays. I'm going to go live. No live on Sundays. But, you know, I had a little emergency on Thursday. So that's why I didn't come live yesterday. And then this morning, I woke up doing some stuff. But I said, before I go to bed tonight, before I go to bed tonight, I said, I will be going live Doing my Friday check-in is TGIF. Y'all tell you, I just love my son. My before I came alive, my son just tried to order me a bottle of wine. Are you eating it now? Okay, Rosa. My son just tried. He said, "Ma, you want a bottle of wine?" I said, "Sure, son." I don't, I don't know. Somebody, somebody hit my my boys upside the head with because they just been lately. They just been take. They really been taking really good care of me. I'm just like. I'm, I'm, I'm just saying kudos. So they've really been taking good care of me lately. I don't know if they just seen it that I'm fine. What, what we say? Well, who told me they're going to say financially struggling or whatever? But they really been coming through for me with a lot of when it comes to stuff and everything. Hey, Taylor. And um, so he was like, you want to, um, what's, um, that's the flower email. Um, it's, um. Seasonflower12 at gmail.com. And um, they really been coming through with me. You know, like I said, my son bought me some clothes. They've been helping me. They've really been doing back down these bills. And, you know, like they be buying me stuff. Like this morning, my son bought me some McDonald's for breakfast. And then he said, you know, you want a bottle of wine. But I could, child, and I'm going to ask you this. Why do DoorDash got liquor stores? On DoorDash, but then when I put the order in, they're gonna say can't deliver across state line. I found like four liquor stores on DoorDash and say near me. Went to go pick because girl, I was gonna get that blood. Man, I told y'all about that blood orange set of homes. Mmm. I was about to give me a bottle of that, put that joint in the freezer, and let it get cold. Oh, my head, my mouth was ready. I was so ready. And I tried two liquor stores on um uh, I thank you, JC. Hey Humble Line. I tried two liquor stores. And everybody gets talking about we don't live across state line. I was like, well, if they don't live across state line, why do they got the liquor stores on DoorDash then? Had me um take a picture of my ID and all that stuff. And I'm still sitting here dry. So I told my son, I said, you know what? I said it probably wasn't meant to be. Uh, you can't deliver or ship to Maryland. I said, but why they got it on DoorDash? I got my address on there, and what DoorDash normally do is that they have the do the, they have the stores that service your area. So like if you put a different address up there, it'll put the stores that's in the area that service you. So why they got these four liquor stores on there? 
if they say, and then when I put it in, they say you can't cross liquor across state lines. I said, and it's not even liquor, it's wine. Is wine considered liquor? Is it, alcohol, is alcohol, I, I consider, I don't, well, it is alcohol, wine, I don't know. But when I see wine, I don't think of liquor, I think of hardcore type liquor, like bourbon, some henny, some vodka, some cabassier, or some um, Patron, or you know, some stuff like that. That's how I consider liquor. I don't, I don't, I don't call wine liquor. It is um, Blood Orange by Sutter Holmes. Blood Orange by Sutter Holmes. Look it up on Google. That wine is so freaking good. And when it get cold, it is so freaking good. That's what I wanted me. But I told my son, if it get you drunk, it's licking. <laughs> I know that's right, Teresa. So I told my son, I said, don't even worry about it. I said, it must wasn't meant to be. I said, I don't, I said, evidently I need that money to do something else with it. That's $23, because that's all it came up to. I said, Girl, them fees be kicking because the wine was only $12.99. By the time I got finished through tip and added all that, that's like I had a $23 for a bottle of Sutter Homes. But it was a good price to pay for. I said, man, had me ready. Girl, I was ready because I was going to be on here. I was going to put that wine in the freezer. And I was going to show it to y'all because I want y'all to try it. It is a really good wine. I don't like red wine. I don't like no red wine. Red wine to me is dry. It's too sweet. I don't do nobody's red wine. And I'm a cheap girl at heart. So it's a 110 watching and only 41 thumbs up. You know how it goes, Stacy. Thank you. Y'all see Stacy is on y'all. Stacy is on y'all. 42 thumbs up, 111 people watching. Thumbs up the video. But yeah, I um I forgot what I was saying real quick. I think we, I was talking about the wine. <laughs> I was thinking I was talking about. I can say anything that isn't soda. Um, juice, lemonade, tea, or water, alcohol. I don't, and I don't drink alcohol. <laughs> yep, so, um, yeah, y'all need to try that Sutter Homes, um, um, Blood orange. That blood orange is really. Why well, I do that? Scratch myself. That blood orange is really. It's a good wine. But I'll get some. I, I think the last time. I know because I'm so. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Miss Just Counter. You was listening to me. Thank you, girl. I'm telling you. I. Oh. I don't know why I forget things so much. I be in the middle and I forget stuff just like that. I don't know why. Oh uh, yeah, but I don't like red wine. I do not like red wine. It's dry. It's sweet. I don't drink any type of red wine. Now what I do like is that I went to Marciano's for my cousins. It's in Northwest DC, and um, that red um, sangria. It had the oranges in it. Bravo, bravo, bravo. Let me just tell you, I had sangria from the liquor stores and stuff. I even had sangria in somebody's home when they made it. Yeah, she had an unexpected passing in her family, son. She had an unexpected passing. And you know, unexpected passings hit hard. Um... Somebody made um, red. My cousin made sangria. I had sangria from the liquor store. But when I went to Maggiano's, it's an Italian restaurant up in um, up in um, Northwest DC. Man, that ain't that liquor store. And what you make at home ain't got nothing on them Italians, okay? Because I think that's like an Italian drink or whatever. That Maggiano, that restaurant. Hope I'm saying that restaurant right because you guys might know what I'm talking about. Honey, that's sangria. And I don't drink nothing. My cousin say, will not you try it? I say, I don't like red wine. I say, I done tried so many red wines. And I say, and I must definitely don't like sangria. I say, I just don't like it. She said, Tanya, try it. Girl, Soul Squad. 
That's the only time. Uh, that's the only time. I'm going to drink red wine, drink um red sangria when I go to that restaurant. If I ain't at that restaurant, I don't want no sangria because they, 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 they left an impression. First impressions is like that. They left an impression. And when I said that sangria at that restaurant is on point, man, I was like, give me some more. <laughs> I was like, give me some more. What's up, Don? I was like, give me some more. Yeah, it was. I'm trying to think of a recipe because um, St. Patrick's Day coming up, and I seen this Patron with lime Kool Aid, but I haven't seen lime Kool Aid in a long time. When these people on TikTok be doing stuff and you be trying to go find the ingredients, you can't never find them. But I'm gonna I'm hunt down some lime Kool Aid um, between now and the 17th, and um. I'm going to get some Patron. I'm not a tequila person. I don't like tequila because tequila burn my lips. I don't do fancy red wine either. Try white peach um, sangria. That one is good. Oh, I'm going to try that one too, just kind of. Um, it's some um, um, Simply Lemonade. Simply Lemonade. Some lime. You put the um, lime green Kool-Aid inside the Simply Lemonade. Then you get some Patron and ice and you shake it up. It's an apicule and a simply half gallon lemonade. And man, that drink looks so good. And you know, St. Patrick's Day around the corner. I said, oh, I should try that. But I might try a vodka because like I said, I'm not a fan of tequila. And I don't care how much you infuse tequila with juices and fruits and stuff just like brown wine i don't drink brown wine either i don't like i meant brown liquor i don't drink no brown liquor that hennessy cabossier and bourbon whiskey and all that stuff i don't drink none of that stuff because brown liquor is too strong it don't matter how much soda coke ginger ale whatever you put in your brown liquor no matter how much you put in it that liquor taste that brown liquor taste still come out and i don't like that taste i don't like that taste so i do vodka and i don't do tequila because tequila is strong too no matter how much you mix stuff in it that tequila just still it just still comes out so i don't like tequila either my drink of choice is vodka and beer and wine i'm an armor miss girl she cheap, y'all. Give me a good some blackberry on my mist. <laughs> Why are we talking about liquor? I don't know. I told y'all we talk about anything, but let me just say, FYI, she is not an alcoholic, okay? Yes, I like white rum. Cause I, I like Malibu, it's my favorite. Okay. It's just that. I, I, I've been, you know, you be having cravings. I've been craving a drink, some type of rum punch, some type of drink. Because the last time I had something to drink um, was in September for my birthday. When I go to my friend Julia house, that's the last time I had something to drink. And September was like September, October, November, December, January, February, March. That's like six months ago. For some reason, yeah, I like Tito's too. Um. Yeah, for some reason, I just, I lately, I've been, I was like, I want something to drink. I've been craving some type of alcohol beverage. You know, I was like, I want either some type of rum, some type of jungle juice, or so I just, I've been craving some type of alcohol. And, uh, and so I say, I get it. That's my son tried to give me some wine tonight. He said, because he heard me say something about I've been wanting some alcohol I had. Man, Mad Dog 2020, back in the late 90s. That was my kid's father. May he rest in peace. No, boo. Don't be giving him no Mad Dog 2020. Go to the corner store. All the Bama's on the corner, pulling out their pocket inside the brown bag. That Mad Dog 2020 was getting people stuck. I, I said, oh, no. And I'm going to tell you. Oh, I'm going to tell you what my kid's father used to drink. That daggone Irish rose. Me and my honey went to Hawaii for our, Oh, you know, that's my dream vacation. Just kind of. We tore a rum plant. Oh, y'all tore the rum plant and brought back. Oh, 
chocolate flavor rum. Oh, wow. No, it was not good. It had people stuck on that mad that, that mad dog 2020. And, and and like I said, my kid's father, he maybe he rest in peace. You know, he was an alcohol, so he drank all kinds of stuff. He used to drink that mad dog 2020. He used to drink that wild Irish rose. Um I, I I will one day. I will he used to drink that wild Irish rose. Hey, mixing easy, made made easy. Um what else he used to drink? Anybody remember? Um, I'm gonna tell you the most popular drinks in the '80s. It said that Mad Dog Twenty got my cousin stuck too. Yes, it did. That in in the early '90s, where I used to live at on the South Side in Anacostia, the the, the um the the drink of choice back then it was that um for wine for um alcohol it was the Mad Dog Twenty Twenty. It was the Wild Irish Rose. And then for beer, it was, what's that beer in the silver can with the red cans? They say, you drink that beer, you be gone. Um, yeah, and it was Cisco. Yeah, it was Cisco, Mad Dog 2020. Well, my baby days also drink Wild Irish Rose. Those two right there, that's St. Eyes. St. Eyes, St. Eyes. No, 211 was good. St. Eyes, oh my God. Goodness, that was in the 90s. It was so it was um Cisco Mad Mad Dog 2020. Um uh a wild Irish rose and that uh, and that uh and that Saint Eyes and then the wine that we used to drink. Oh, and somebody said old English, uh pink champagne, malt liquor, and the wine that we used to drink, it used to be strawberry hill. What was that wine name? They had flavors like, hey, to um, uh, Miss Harris, Teresa Harris. They had flavors like Strawberry Hill. Um, it's been real popular. Yeah, Boone's Farms. There you go, Miss Rule. Boone's Farm. That was the 90s alcohol from the corner store. We always had two or three bottles of Boom. Do they still make Boone Bombs? That was some cheap stuff, but that's what it was. That was the, those was all the famous drinks in the hood. You know, I grew up. I you know we was in the hood. So in the hood on a Friday and the Saturdays, it was Cisco, Mad Dog, Twenty Twenty, Wild Irish Rose, Saint Eyes, and Boom Farms. And guess what? Play some daggone cards. Play some cards. Play some cards. What's your favorite kind of cake? Red velvet. And um, lemon. Thunderbird. I heard a thunderbird. Somebody say Southern Comfort. Y'all, that's all that old stuff. And they, they used to sit outside. They used to play cards and um, what's the and with um, dominoes. The men around our way used to play cards and domino. He said, shoot, only because, uh, no, because we got drunk one time drinking. Y'all got caught. Yeah, Coke 45. You know I love me Coke 45. That's my beer. So Coke 45. Slit smoke liquor. Mm-hmm. That sweet lemon. Somebody said sweet lemon too. That sweet lemon get you twisted. Yeah. But that St. Eyes was the truth, man. You couldn't do that. I remember I drank a St. Eyes and was it a 24 ounce can or whatever? Man, I was tore up from the floor up. They say, where's my Man, it's good evening, Missy. Hey, Miss Rue, girl. Good evening. She's doing okay, one day at a time. Who asked me that? Uh, Miss Hurst, one day at a time. Said so that was my um, best friend's drink, that um, Southern Comfort. <laughs> Yes, man. We've been. I, I, I missed. Like we talked about that too. Like it's a Friday. We talk about good old days, and we just had that conversation last week about our Friday nights. Yes, I'm telling you. I said before, um, Memorial Day coming up, I want to have a card party. Before I get furniture, I said I want to have a card party. Oh, I'm sorry for your loss, Teresa. I'm so sorry. I want to have a call. My condolences to you and your family, baby. Um, before um, 
Before I get furniture, I think for a Memorial Day, I'm going to have a mixer. I'm going to have a mixer. The only thing about it is that I'm not inviting a lot of people because I do live in an apartment, but I got a whole empty patio. And I just get some, need some patio furniture, and I'm going to get a George Foreman grill, that electric George Foreman grill, the kind of stand up. I'm going to get, hey, Kay and Ray, I'm going to get that electric George Foreman grill because I ain't breaking no bylaws. Hey, Susie Q, I'm not going to break no bylaws by living in an apartment. A lot of people be breaking them laws and they still be having regular grills. But I'm going to get, the, I seen this pretty rectangle, rectangular, burgundy, and gray George Foreman grill for $112 on Amazon. And I'm going to get that grill because I'm going to plug it up. Put it on the patio, and you can still grill like hot dogs, hamburgers, cheese, and chicken. Hey, Stephen Star, I'm doing fine. How you doing? Thanks for asking. And you can still grill all those type of foods and make your size. So I was thinking about having a card party on um, for Memorial Day. I invited a couple of my cousins who I haven't seen since last year, since, especially since I moved out of my house and everything. And, you know, of course, I invite Juliet over. And her husband, and um, we gonna do the bar, and, and I'm, I'm thinking I'm gonna do me a card party for Memorial Day. Um, we gonna have, I, and when I say card party, I'm talking about like um, Ninja got a grill like that, a air fried too. What? It's a nice size grill. Yeah, it is. It's a nice size grill. It's stand up on legs. It's stand up on legs. It stand up on legs. It um, it's square. It got a big body, and you know they got the gray round one too. But I saw the burgundy one. I thought it was just so slick and cute. And it stands up on legs. Is it, you know what? I'll put it in my um, cause I showed it to one of my Soul Squad members the other day. I sent her a picture of it. She said, "Oh yeah, I'm getting that." I'm gonna um in the comments before this when we, when we finish, I'm gonna put it in my comments. Because if Richard doing fine, I'm going to bite him over too for that day. Yeah, he can't cut the grass no more. We was just talking about Cousin Richard. <laughs> he can't cut the grass no more. I'm going to bite over a handful of people. Not that many. I'm saying about 10. Between 8 to 10 people. Because my sons and them, they be working. So they'll be working on that Saturday. Or they be working that Monday on the holiday. So they won't be here. Everybody be working. They, all, my, all my sons work the weekend. Say, Allie, baby. But I'm going to bite over about a handful of people. And uh, I'm going to do a card game. And when I say card game, you can play spades. You can remember Tunk? You should play Tunk. Yeah, I'll go live on Memorial Day. But you know what I'm going to play on Memorial Day? I'm not even going to do card. I'm going to do pinochle. I'm going to order a pinochle set. Oh, my God. Goodness, y'all, I forgot to tell y'all about that when we was talking about the good old days when we were little, like eight years old, seven, eight years old, and we was living with my grandparents, my mother's mother, and we was we lived in the basement every Friday. My grandparents used to have pinochle. If y'all know what that is, it's like it's it's like a, a sheets of cards that look like um they look like the playing cards, the sheets of cards. And you get these red and gold and stuff, chips and stuff. And then you take cups and they put money in the cups. You like quarters, dimes, nickels, um, dollars or whatever. And uh, we played that when we was at, um, we went to Florida in 2018. <laughs> <laughs> yes, he did all the time. He did not play. I'm gonna do that. That's what I'm gonna have. I'm gonna have spades and pink. I'm gonna buy two pinochle sets. And I seen them on Amazon. They less, they like ten dollars. Hey, Willie. She fine. She at home. She living her life. I talk to her every now and then. She doing good. Her and her kids. Yeah, she's fine. I think I last time I told her maybe a month ago, about a month ago. She don't call that often because her phone numbers changed so much. So I have to wait until she contact me. But um, yeah, she doing good. I always when she asked when she called me, I asked her how she was doing. 
But yeah, so I remember we that was so good on the Fridays. My grandparents' dining room with all my mother, brothers, and sisters, and my grandparents. They used to. No, nah, she ain't selling candles no more. She had stopped selling candles when she was here. Because I told her she need to go back to John Boy and develop them more. The fragrance wasn't strong. And then, and, and then I told her that also try to do some novelty candles. Get into doing mixed candles. You know, some novelty candles, regular candles. But enhance the strength of that smell more. And so, but I don't know if she's doing it. Because my poor baby, she was all over the place. So I doubt she's doing it. She's just like me. I be all over the place trying to... Trying to find the next, trying to find the next go ahead thing. You know what I'm saying? You got, you got to keep, you know, keep trying, keep trying. Oh, I will fit in the order, son. <laughs> Thank you so much. Hey, see, so have a, oh, you wanted to order some? Yeah, she ain't, I don't think she's doing it no more. I'm not sure exactly what she's doing right there, but I know for sure she's not doing fine. Thank you, Stacy. Yeah, so I do got some bags of flower left. I think I got um um I think I got how many bags of flour in there? I know I still got four Grandma Jackie sweet potato pie mix. I got four pie mixes, and I think I got three or four flowers left. The y'all. The, let's talk about how the day Friday. I be trying humble lion. <laughs> I got enough. Told y'all I got another venture coming out. Hey, I'm trying to squeeze some money from my sons, y'all. Oh, Ravy Ryan doing good. He won. No, but you know what? If you develop a gluten-free fish flour, it's going to be... um. Because you got to buy all the gluten-free ingredients, which costs a little bit more money. Yeah, and people always complain about the price that it is now. But they don't know about, you got to buy the ingredients, your time, your labor, and everything. Oh, no, he that's the only thing. He's not walking yet. He's not. He's trying though, but he's one now. But he's trying, but he's not. And I said, like you know, some kids, everybody is different. So I said he gonna do it his own time. He know he take his steps and stuff while you holding his hand and everything. But his butt ain't he not yet. But I I told Andrew, I said I know give him a couple of months. He gonna be doing it because he he be doing it. Not really, T. I make some. You do okay. I don't know how much he want to be carried everywhere. Yes, he do. He wants to be carried everywhere. And that's why I think he don't walk because he'll try for a little bit, but then his little butt want to get picked up. But I told Andrew, um, I think he'd be walking. Andrew said, he better be walking by the time the summer. I said, boy, he'll be walking way before the summer because he, he's really, really trying. I said, but y'all pick him up so much. No, Teresa, Michael, Michael trying to, um, um, he got a new job that he's trying to get into. Mm, excuse me. He's a prince. Thank you. Michael, um, working on himself. So he get this new position, this new job. He trying to become a Capitol Hill police. He's much, he, he wanted to be a Capitol Hill police for the longest. So he's actually doing all the stuff that he need to do. So he can become a Capitol Hill police. I told me you guys should took him on his journey. Get gluten free oatmeal. Uh, Earl root powder, blend them together. Oh, okay. Experiment. Email me, silvert45 at gmail.com and cornmeal. Okay. I used to use cornmeal in my regular flour and obey. Oh, she giving up a whole flour recipe. I'd be scared too, but like I said, all my sons are security. I got two arms and one regular. Like I said, somebody gave ain't you a good, okay? I still don't get over that sugar honey iced tea. I be like, what the heck? <laughs> double, oh, H E double hockey sticks. I be like, okay. <laughs> my son's be like, I, I, my, then his brothers be going on him. <laughs> and I would tell you, I don't have his paper with me. I don't know if he do his paper. You know, Andrew got a, um, when he went to the, um, um, yeah, Andrew do. Yeah, they do. And Michael do too. Um, when they went to the um, the range with his thing, 
He the only person out of his whole class. He got a whatever it is, a 69 out of 69. Whatever the thing is, an 89 out of 89. He got the, he got he he did it. He ain't missed what that Bama had all head shots and chest shots. He got an 89. Whatever the whatever the score is. He got it out of it. Me that he, he got it all right. He got, I think it's thing in top of my closet. I said, you wasn't trying to let nobody go, was you? He said, nah. He said, he said, I'm the only one got a perfect score. I said, okay. He Bama. <laughs> he said, I'm not an A. And I said, okay. You know, he tell me all that GTA. I said, stop playing that, dude. He said, for real. He said, all them shooting games. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah, he a marksman. I was like, what? He said, he said, he said, but literally, he said for all them shooting games that they play. And I, I, I tend to believe him. Because Joshua said that's how he learned to drive. I had six boys, Mo Cash. The youngest, 19. My oldest is 34. Oldest is 34. Yeah. He 34, 35. Don't quote me. He 34, 35. Lord, y'all. I imagine a 35 year old and a 34 year old. Mm. A whole lot, a whole lot. Yeah. Mikey was 34, 35, but I know for sure my youngest is 19. And I got all the ages in between, like 24, 29, 27. If Michael 34, that means Brandon 33. He's doing fine. Brandon doing fine. I talked to Brandon yesterday. No, Brandon the second oldest. So Michael the oldest. You got Michael, Brandon, Joshua's the middle child, Fufu, Andrew, and Jackson. So that's six right there. Joshua the middle child. That's why that Bama crazy teller. Something wrong with your husband. I'm just like, you know this right off the top. So don't don't say I didn't tell you that. I ain't warn you. <laughs> don't say I didn't warn you, girl. I didn't warn you. Y'all, I am so mad. I ordered this beautiful garment that I was going to show you guys for the plus size model. And when I ordered it, always read. Because the top and bottom was separate. But when they showed the picture with the thing together, I thought it was a set. So when I ordered it and when it came, I was like, okay, it came. I could do my video. I only had the bottom half. And I'm looking and I'm reading. I'm like, where's the top part to this outfit? And I read the paper. I went back on TikTok. I'm saying, because TikTok make you do it, man. I'm addicted to TikTok and their commercials and their sales and all this stuff. This is something from Torred. And I went back to the Torred website. I said, oh, my goodness. I'm so I'm so um, in love with, 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 the, with the swimsuit, because it's a swimsuit. I'm so in love with the swimsuit. I ordered it. I ordered it in... Um, didn't read it. I thought it was a top and a bottom. So now I'm going to have to put a pause on it because now I got to get the top. And the top costs more than a daggone bottom. That's why I thought together it was a whole piece. But now I got, I, and they got different tops that you could match to it. So now I got to get the top. I said, oh, y'all blowing me. Y'all making clothing hard. Clothing hauls hard for me. I said, what in the world y'all doing to me? <laughs> y'all making my clothing hard too hard. So I got some stuff for Fashion Nova coming. Then I had this outfit from Torre. And then I, I, um, I took bill advice. Even though my numbers are not showing real good on my vlogging channel, I still reached out to Torre to see if I could become a, a program affiliate with them. So I'm waiting to hear back for them to see can I do a pro be an affiliate with them. They did. I did something with them last year, so I'm hoping they um, I'm hoping they redeem me and um, they pick me. They pick me up to do another one, and I would love because I like Torred, but they just too expensive. But you gotta catch them in between sales and stuff because everybody expensive these days. So you gotta catch everybody in between sales. So you gotta catch them in between sales. So now it was a beautiful suit, y'all. It is beautiful, but now I gotta wait till I get the top hat. So. 
I won't be showing that this weekend. I was really upset about that. So, y'all, reading this fundamental, read everything you ordered. Because my son Fufu did that two times when we moved in this apartment. He thought he... <laughs> but like I told Fufu, I said, I know you ain't think you was getting no game chair for $21. So, I'm going to tell y'all a quick Amazon story. Fufu fixed his room up real nice. He wanted a game chair. So he ordered all this little stuff. He ordered him some sheets, blankets, and stuff for Amazon for his bedroom. So he kept saying, my game chair ain't cut. It was two big boxes, but it was some other stuff in the box. His cotton stuff for his ceiling. I said, no, that's not it. I said, only other thing is here is this little black stuff right here. It was a little package. And I opened up. I said, y'all y'all switch Amazon up, but y'all don't switch the names. Y'all leave my name on y'all stuff. So I opened stuff up. I said, the other day, um... This this little stuff came, little black stuff came. And so he said, So I need to contact Amazon because they keep talking about my chairs, um, two and a half. They keep talking about my chairs are delivered. I said, Fufu, even they delivered your chairs because he claimed he got two of them. He thought he got a deal. He was like, Oh, yeah, I got me two um gaming chairs coming for $21. He kept showing to me, Look at him, look at him. I was like, Dad, me not even catching on either because he just showed me the picture. I'm like, Dad, okay, $21 for these gaming chairs. And so he let three days go by from the time when they said that the chairs was delivered. And you know, ain't nothing in this house. I'm like, this is the only thing came this little the little white pack I said this little package right here and my name was on it so I opened it but I don't know who it is for and then he said well what is I, so we took it out <laughs> it was two black chair covers <laughs> it was two black chair covers I said Fufu here's your chairs right here <laughs> that baby was mad. I said, you didn't read? He said, man, I was so excited for the price. I said, let me go. Let's go back and read. And I said, it's say chair covers right here. I said, <laughs> thank you, Mixing Made Easy. I said, boy, he was so mad. But this is the kicker. You don't learn. Because I didn't know he ordered something from Walmart too. This family did the same thing at Walmart because he ordered the stuff the same day. He ordered some stuff from Walmart. He ordered stuff from Amazon. So here we come. He's my mom. They said my Walmart stuff delivered. He said my pillow. I said, it was my bag came today, but it wasn't no pillow. You know, them long pillows he wanted because he got the guy. So his big black bed when I was in it. He got that big black bed. So he wanted one of those long pillows like this, right? This dumbass. <laughs> it was a pillowcase. I said, what the hell is wrong with you? I said, why are you not reading your stuff you buy? It was a just like the just like the um just like the chin covers. It was a long black pillowcase. I said, man, you gotta buy the pillow go in the pillowcase. He said, I'm done. I think you should be done. I mean, that's it. Read this fundamental. Your ass should have read your stuff. <laughs> I, I was mad. I said, you got two chin covers and you got a long block pillowcase. You ain't getting nothing. You. <laughs> I said, then you wonder why stuff was so cheap. Man, that thing was so funny. But he did end up getting him a gaming chair. This time he read and he paid way more than $21 for a gaming chair. But he didn't reorder the pillow. I said, well, you got the pillowcase. Just order the long pillow. He said, fuck that pillow. <laughs> I'm sorry, my cousin. But he said, fuck that pillow. <laughs> but I Nah, I said, you, I, I just shook my head. That was the best laugh I had that day, man. I died. Man, you got to read. You got to read when you buy stuff. You can't be looking at pictures. That's what's wrong with people. When people be putting stuff together, you, you instead of you reading, you looking at pictures. Read what it say do, man. Yeah, but, um... I got the black pillowcase on top of my closet. I said, can I have it? I said, I buy a long pillow for it. And once I get me a bed and get my stuff fixed up, I'm going to buy me a, um, 
I'm gonna buy me a long pillow. One of those long pillows, I'm gonna stick right in that black pillowcase. You can't let stuff go away. But I said, it's nothing I can do with the chairs because the um the chair covers they're actually for gaming chairs. So they two chair covers that go on top of gaming chairs. And I told him you could you could use it on the gaming chairs. He said I don't want it. They ain't gonna fit right on here. So I said okay. So yeah, I said but that thing that day was funny. That man was mad. <laughs> Who was mad, man? It was that thing was so funny. You know, you on the side, he trying to fix his room up and buy stuff, and he's spending his money. That was yes, it was. It was so funny, guy. You gotta read when you buy stuff, but I do that all the time, especially when I be trying to buy stuff. He don't. He like his mother. I am so lazy when it comes to refunding things. Um, Alan, baby, I am not a good returner. Who else in here is not a good returner? I am, I, I am not a good returner. I will give it away before I return it and be like, oh well, and then wait and then and then and then get it again. I, that's one thing. I am so bad at that. I have always been like that. I am not a good returner at all. I just, I just don't like the time consuming of just returning something back and all that stuff. You're like, but you get your money back. I said, yeah, but I just chop stuff up as laws. I end up keeping it forever or I end up giving it, giving it to somebody who may need it. I know they pay for shipping ladies and all that stuff. I did it one time, but I'm just not a good returner. I'm not. Now, he, 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 and I guess he got it from his mother because he said, bump it. It is what it is. So eventually we'll find somebody who may need some, um, computer i don't even know what he did with i know i got the pillowcase i'm gonna keep the pillowcase myself but i don't know i think he put him on top of his closet they i think they still in the bag too so i don't know what he's gonna do with them yeah but you got you got to because you gotta get your money back oh i'm an amazon return queen <laughs> while i wait till i <laughs> He said, I'm very good at return. She said, I'm telling you, I'm an Amazon return queen. My sister is a returner too. My sister is a good returner. I'm not. I've always been that way. I will keep stuff. I, I just, I'd be like, man, I don't feel like going through that. And that's just my, and that's, that's one, that's a, that's a bad thing. That's one of my bad things about me is that I'm not a good returner. When people say, what is something, a bad thing about you is that, yeah. It's a guilt of that. I'm not a good returner. But yeah, y'all, I was like, yeah, I knew I was coming on a day because I am very, I'm really trying to be, um, be consistent with our, um, what our everyday check is. Even though I didn't come on this morning, I was like, I'm going, cause I, like I said, I was busy this morning, but I was like, I'm before I go to bed tonight, before I do anything, I am going to do my afternoon check-in. I'm going to do my morning check-in, but it's not a morning check-in. It's a good evening check-in. Y'all. I'm telling y'all, y'all got to look at Night Agent on, I know I said it earlier, y'all got to look at Night Agent on Netflix, y'all got to look at Love is Blind Season 6 on Netflix, uh, Veronica said it depends on the item calls if I return or not, yeah, but like they said, a lot of people do the free shipping label stuff too, um, y'all got to look at um, Night Agent on Netflix, um, y'all got to look at Love is Blind season six. That season six, Susie Q. Girl, I can't wait to smile. You see that bull. Did you see that bull Clay did? Um, she said, Miss Tiffany said, I used to be on top of my return. Man, that thing blew me, Susie Q. I can't wait. The weekend came so fast. It was just Sunday. We was just looking at the walking dead. Don't, Alan Baby, don't get you started on Clay. Girl, get started. Please come in tomorrow, Alan Baby, because we need all the season six of people we know because a uh, uh, Love is Blind, because we about to go in tomorrow. We about to go in tomorrow on Love is Blind. Yes, he did. Oh, yes, he did. I wanted to come. Hey, Alan Baby, we got to save for tomorrow. Girl, I was ready to come through the screen. I, I screamed. I screamed so loud, my son Fupu said, what's going on? I said, I'm talking to the damn TV. I say, um, yeah, Clay Marble is a smart lady. I, I like what she told him, but I think he knew that he trying to say, he just right then in that moment, that's what he knew. But I think he been new and he could have saved that. 
I don't have necklace no more. I was using my daughter's account. They caught me. <laughs> yeah, they caught you. Girl, I was so mad at him. I screamed at the screen because I thought I, I gave him a benefit of the doubt. I was pumping him up to my cousin. Oh, you about to finish watching episode 12? Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. I was pumping him up to my cousin. Was like, oh, he changed and he this, he that. Oh, I'm feeling him. I'm liking him. Oh, I can't wait till tomorrow come. Yes, I can't wait till tomorrow come. Y'all, we're going to be talking about it. I'm here for it. I'm here for it. I am here for it. It's, so on the couch going to be good because we're doing all TV tomorrow. We're doing TV because you know what? At some given time, like somebody said, oh, we need, even though this is an open forum and let's talk about stuff what's going on, we're going to talk about We got to be good vibes and be happy about stuff too and, and everything and stuff like that. Yeah, Miss Tiffany, he did, but I thought he did. I felt like, and I thought he did, because the way it was coming across, you know, they do a lot of editing in these shows. Like, hey, Lane. So tomorrow, we doing all things TV tomorrow. We doing all things TV tomorrow. Yeah, so cute. I'm sorry, but still watch it, baby. We sorry. That's why I told you I'm a baby. Shh. Because, you know, you give me started, girl, because I was mad. But we got it tomorrow. But Susan Q, I am happy that the weekend came by so fast because I was thinking about our show for Sunday. Girl, I can't wait. Sunday episode going to be good. It's going to be good. So, yeah, tomorrow. So, tomorrow on On the Couch, guys, I'm, I'm glad that I did this evening check-in. I am so glad I did this evening check-in with you guys. On Monday, I promise y'all, I promise y'all, I promise y'all, we're going to do comedy movie. And we are doing our movie review on Monday. But tomorrow, we're doing everything movie. we talking about movies tomorrow. On, on the couch of two shows in particular. Just two shows. Season six of um oh she said I watched the highlights so I'm ready to go. Season six of Love is Blind on Netflix and the new spin-off with Rick and Michonne, the TW um um the TDW um the walking TWD, The Walking Dead, um, The Ones Who Live. If you're not uh, man, go watch because we talk, we giving off spoiler alerts. Yes, she should have, because she, she was afraid of change. We're going to talk about that, too. We're giving all spoiler alerts. So if you haven't seen them two shows, the first two episodes going to be talked about, like, I don't know what's tomorrow on the couch, because The Walking Dead, I am here for it. It is so good, and I am loving it. And we're going to talk about this love is blind. All right, guys, I'm about to be out here, because my son want to use my phone if we can order us something to eat. Oh, you need to go look at it. I didn't look at season five. The last season I saw was season four. And I didn't look at season five because I couldn't get into season five. Them people on season five, it was something about them. It was like they was either boring or they couldn't, they didn't pull me in like all the other seasons did. But season six, on the first episode, I was there. The first episode, I was there. I was hooked. I was hooked. I was there. Season 5, I didn't look at because I tried to look at the first two episodes. I turned season 5 off. I didn't I didn't even make it past the pod. It was like something about those people made me feel some type of... I don't know. I just couldn't get into them. But season 6, man. Season 6 reminded me of the first season. Yeah, I don't look at the ones in the other countries. I saw those too. I don't look at the ones in the other country. But season six remind me remind me of when a Love's Blind first came on. Yeah, I go live in the morning now. And and I, yesterday, you know, I my girlfriend went through some stuff. And so I didn't go live yesterday. And uh this morning I got caught up with some stuff. So I said, I'm going, yeah, before noon. I'm going to go live before I hit this, um, the bed tonight, before I hit the bed, because I'm trying to be consistent with our lives. Hey, y'all, ask me this, because I'm puzzled. My girl essays graphic. I don't know what she'll be doing. <laughs> I'm going to call her because I'm laying in the bed, and I'm getting all these. So we we'll see a little video. So we we'll see a little video. I said... I know I uploaded one video, which is the uh, steak bagel. 
And I'm like, and I'm getting people saying two minutes in a comment and one I'm like, so you know, she's in India, so I can't call her. It was like three o'clock in the morning. So I said, I'm confused, and it's my channel. So I said, I know the people who get in the um who get hitting the other algorithm, who get in the bail, they confused too. Cause I was like, what's going on? <laughs> Yeah, I was like too. It is my channel. So I'm saying, so I sent her a message. I said, Did you upload some videos? What's going on? <laughs> and of course, you know, she didn't respond to me yet. But I'm gonna say anything that she do, I think she knows what she's doing. That's my girl. You know, she um she hit me up. I told you guys. Yeah, one said you was live. Yeah. Um they one said I was live. I said. I'm so dumb. I'm going to tell y'all how slow your girl is. I'm going to pick up the phone. And I said, am I live? I had to question my own self. I questioned myself. I said, what they mean I'm live? I'm live. And I was going through my telephone. Y'all, it is something seriously wrong with me. And I look, I'm like, I don't understand. And then I thought, then girl, then I thought my page was hacked. I said, did somebody hack my page? Cause I was, and I was, yeah, girl, it was so funny. And then I then then it dawned on me. I said, oh, this may be essay graphic, but I I don't. I, she had to explain to me why she put up the old videos because um I don't know. I know she had told me something about um. Doing some extra tags. Um, she knows some strategies to help my views go up. You know, anything she do. Oh, thank you, um, Susie Q. Anything the SA do, she's amazing. You know what I'm saying? She knows exactly what she's doing. So I guess she knows what she's doing. So I guess she knows what she's doing. I'm not going to question her. I'm going to ask her before she can explain to me why she did it. But I'm not gonna take it down because cause she's my she's my editor person and she says she's gonna help get my views up. Y'all see the thumbnails she did. That's her. She went in and changed and did some thumbnails and stuff. So I'm gonna let her do what she do. If she know what she's doing and y'all see them, just me, both of us know that we're not going crazy. Just say, oh, that's essay graphics. <laughs> y'all be like, what is Soba T doing? Cause I had no idea what's going on. So when she wake up, so around 12 o'clock the night, it's going to start being the AM for her. So I think what time is it in India? Somebody asked what time is it in India? Because the last time I checked, it was three o'clock AM in India. And I think that was around five o'clock. So it may be about seven AM in India right now. Somebody asked Google what time is it in India? I might could talk to her when I get off the slide. I just want her to explain to me the reason, you know, of the video. Because, like I said, I thought I was going crazy. I, whatever she tell me, I'm going to go for it. Because, like I said, hey, sophisticated lady, she knows exactly what she's doing. She helped a lot of you guys out before with her graphics and videos and all that stuff. So, the girl know what she's doing. So, whatever she's doing, if she said whatever she's doing can help build my channel, uh, she got administrative leave, go for it. So, when y'all see the videos and stuff going up, I'm not going crazy. You're not going crazy. But it's not me posting them. I got um, my editor manager. She's over there doing her thing. So, yeah. Uh, so, yeah. So, I'm going to um, see. So, it may be. I probably could, I probably could um, um, Instagram her, DM her when we get all. She might have already answered my DM. Clock or four. You could tell by the light. It'd be 5, 5, 30, 6 o'clock, and it still be light outside. So you can tell by the light, that time is ready, y'all. Like I said, how is it Friday? It was just Sunday. I don't even feel like, I was like, where did the week go? I don't even feel like, what happened? This week went so fast that it's super crazy. Super crazy. It's 10 hours and 30 minutes ahead of Washington, D.C. Yeah. So I always find out what time it is there. Always ask Giddle. Um, thank you, Sleepless. I always ask Google, what time is it in India? And they'll tell me the time before I actually. Um, thank you, Lynn. My boy said what's well, good before I actually hit her up. And they'll tell me the time. So, yeah. So, yep, y'all, I'm out of here because they want to order some food. 
because I'm hungry, so they need to order mama something to eat too. I don't, I don't know what they're gonna order or what they go eat, but um, they want to order something to eat. But I am out of here three o'clock, Mondays through Fridays, will be anytime before noon. But Saturdays, we got a set time. 3 o'clock, Sunday, we're free. It's 6.24 over there. Okay, so it's 6.24. She may still be asleep. So Saturdays, 3 p.m. on the couch, Monday through Friday, anytime before noon. Anytime before noon. Because it's a what? It's a morning check-in, y'all. Because we got to check on each other, see how we doing, how was your day. Somebody might need somebody might need some encouragement that day. Somebody might be feeling a little bit down. They may need somebody to talk to or they may need to listen to something. So, good night, everybody. I love you guys. I'll see y'all tomorrow at 3 o'clock. I might try to have me some wine by the time then. Because it's going to be a, what Anthony say? It's going to be a hoot nanny. Hey, Miss B, I'm fine. Thank you, baby. How are you? Yes, we've been over here for, we've been for a whole hour. That's okay, little life. Same channel, different time tomorrow. Same channel, different time tomorrow. I'll be here at 3 p.m. See y'all tomorrow. I love you so, squad. Everybody have a beautiful Friday. I'm out.